Man, I am a happy camper today. Mm -hmm. Logic Pro has finally given us the updates that we needed. It took like 20 years, but we, we finally got it. Bolo! Yes, Logic Pro has finally given us the updates that we really need. And to be truthfully honest, there's like two updates that should have been implemented a long time ago. But yeah, it, I, don't, I can't really say it's worth the wait, but I'm happy it's here now. OK, and then they have another update that is actually pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and go through those real quick and uh, show you why I am very happy. And some of you guys are going to be like, huh? But you know, most of you guys who use Logic will understand where I'm coming at. So let's go ahead and check out some of the new updates. All right, so we are now in Logic Pro. There's a lot of updates that happened in this last update, even though it's like a half of an update. It's not like a 10.8 or nothing like that. It's like a 10.7.5. You would think it would just be a few things that they added, but they really did a lot in this update. So I'm very happy about that. Now, my favorite thing about this update is this. And I know some of y'all are going to be like, Bolo, you're being real petty. But I'm telling you right now, for guys who produce in Logic, you guys understand where I'm coming at with this. Right now, we can actually go inside the little inspector part right here. And as you guys can see, I have my new drum kit that's going to be coming out real soon. I'm actually still working on it. And as you guys can see, I can go right in here and I can go to my snares. And when I select my snare, it plays. And some of y'all are like, okay, whatever, we knew about that. But if you look right here, it says Wave 4832-bit. Yes, we can finally import our 32-bit samples directly from this little inspector thing right here on the side without having to use any outside VSTs, gear, or nothing. We can finally use 32-bit float samples in Logic. Don't know why it took that long, but everybody over at Logic, thank you. You have just made my life a lot easier because now we are just like all the other programs. We can use 32-bit samples. So now instead of me going outside of the program, opening up folders and all that stuff, I can do it right here inside of Logic. So if I want to use a particular snare like this one, I can just go ahead, click on it, drag it right over, optimize it, and then bam, there it is. It's in the sampler. We can go ahead and use it and make a beat. Just like that. Done. Thank you guys so much for doing that. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. All right. Aside from that, here's another update that I really like. As you guys can see, I have my tracks right here nested inside of this own nested little folder right here. Okay. But as you guys can see, there is two drum machine designer kits in here before we could not do that. And really, to tell you the truth, I really wasn't using nested tracks like that unless I was using the drum machine designer because it already comes built in with nested tracks inside of it. But now we can actually use multiple drum machine designer kits while being in a nested state. So now if we want to go ahead and do like a summing nesting folder, now we can use that folder and then we can basically build our own sounds inside of the nesting folder and use it like it's just one sound. It's crazy. That's crazy. And last, the last thing that I think that should have been implemented in this program years ago, along with being able to use the 32 bit float samples is clip gain. Ah, why did it take so long to use clip gain? So now what we can do is say, for instance, I want to highlight this right here and I want to export this. As you guys can see, we now have clip gain. So we can go ahead and turn this clip up or turn it down. And this is actually in the nested tracks right here. So I'm doing clip gain for everything that's in the nested folder. So everything right here that I'm using and I'm adding, if I have sounds Whatever I have that's in this nested folder, if I click out of here, this is all going to be affected by the clip gain. All right, so how can we use clip gain? It is very easy. All we have to do is go right here to where you see all your tools, and then we have the regular tool right here, and then we can go down here and click right here where you can use the gain tool, and then boom, it just pops up. 
but I like to do a little bit different. I like to use my pointer tool right here. And then what I like to do is I like to set it to when I right click. So what I'm gonna do is when I right click on this, bam, there it goes. Just shows the clip gain. And now I can turn this up and down finally without having to come over here to the side right over here and do the clip gain from here. And now I have a visual representation of my clip gain. Logic. Everybody over there, what took so long to do this? But I'm very grateful for it. Very, very grateful for it. And I'm actually very happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I've been, you know, dibble dabbing with a few other programs. But now that Logic has this, I'm, I'm good to go. Just gotta, you know, fix that little, you know, like the tab to transit type thing. Like, it's every time I upgrade or something, and I try to figure out how to do that, you just can't do it. We need to have a better like shift tab to transit thing, kind of like, you know, like a few other programs. And I think we'll be cool. But that could be for another update. We can get to that soon. But, you know, I have to always look it up. But other than that, I am very appreciative of everything that's going on. And I really like what you guys have done. I like how you made a lot of updates, even with some of the effects that now you can use some of the guitar effects individually on your tracks. That's very cool. And man, like this is really a very good update. So kudos to everybody over there that's working on Logic, whole team, everybody. Thank you guys so much for adding these great, great, great updates to this program. And I'm sure I'm gonna be making a lot of beats this week. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.